first of all welcome to artificial intelligence hub today i'm gonna teach you how we can make a chat based application uh, using flask so you can see when i just run on the app so it will show me interface like that when i say hello to the bot it will automatically response uh, me so you can see uh, here can i can you help me run a path to some command it will show some kind of stuff so uh, we're gonna learn in this tutorial how to make this kind of app so i so just you need to go there uh, buffml.com so you can see here uh, this art uh, this blog or article just open this one so this article has already uh, tell you how you can make that app so it contain lot of stuff and codes especially a code section so I'm gonna teach you how you can run this code or uh, how you can make a uh, flask uh, app so let's start it so I'm just opening this one and let's uh, teach you step by step how we can make a complete app using this one so first of all just make a folder whatever the name you want to assign them uh, chat app so in this folder you can see here if I'm just opening this one you can see here we have some static templates app data.json and this will be created automatically when we train the model so we need training app templates and static so first of all I'm going to make folder name uh, static so after that I'm going to make the uh, second one folder name is uh, templates so you can see here templates so let me show the okay so after this one you can see here the folder name app so this is the python app.py so this is the training so uh, here i'm going to access this one by using this one so let me open my folder here so here new you can see here so i'm just going to make a new folder oh i'm really sorry for that one so we can make it by using this one so uh, the simply i'm just uh, save this folder in exact uh, particular locations where yeah you can see here i'm just going to save uh, this one in my I'm really sorry for that one so in this folder simply the name should be looks like uh, I'm going to write the name of this uh, folder app app uh, app dot py so this uh, this folder is app dot uh, py and the second one uh, training uh, dot py so train so I'm going to make a new one folder with the name of uh, here a training dot py so these two folders so also we need to make a data dot uh, json so we can create it by using uh, i'm just going there simply and uh, make a new folder if you uh, see here i'm just going to make a new folder name it data dot uh, json so you can see i have created yeah i'm just saying data.json make sure the spellings uh, are correct data dot json app uh, I uh, so we created two folders two python files and one data uh, json so one two three four and five so after that if uh, um, i'm going to go ahead so you can see we need to install some uh, necessary libraries like pip install this this uh, pip install tensorflow class sticker so you need to if you don't have these kind of libraries you need to just open your anaconda prompt just write pip uh, install flask let's, let's suppose so write and then install you can see i have already these dependencies so i don't need to install you can write, write pip install tensor flow make sure the spelling are correct tensor flow so i have already this library also so i'm not going to install this one i'm skipping this step if you don't have so you need to install if you got some receive some error so after that you can see here i'm going to go you can see this is the json file just copy 
the code here and just go to your JSON file and open uh, with your editor. So after opening with your editor, oh, I'm sorry for that. I'm just going to open with again. So you can see here. I'm just going to write it here. So just need to save it. I'm just saving this one. So it is not just uh, data dot JSON. So after that. I'm going to go down data pre-processing. These are the some uh, steps how you can do. This. So training uh, training dot uh, pi. So just need to copy this code and go to your uh, training and just paste it. So same here. After that, I'm going to go down. So you can see here uh, style uh, static dot style dot uh, style dot cs. You can see in static folder you need to make a new folder styles. I'm just copying this one and going there and just making a new folder so uh, you can see a new uh, and make a new folder with the name of st style in this folder the file name should be uh, style.css so I'm just copying this one and go there and uh, make a new one so I'm just writing the name with style.css so in this folder I'm just going to open this folder with my notepad plus plus so simply just need to copy this one and paste in uh, let me see uh, yeah just need to paste here and control s to save if you're using a windows uh, so after that i'm going down and see the next code uh, so you can see a template dot index dot html i'm just copying in in templates templates in templates uh, you can uh, make a new file uh, with this one and just name with uh, this one so after that so after making this one so what you can do uh, just copy that particular uh, index.html code and paste it uh, just uh, I'm showing you again just open this one with your ID and save this one so after saving this one I'm going down and see the next steps here. Simply, you can see app dot pi. Just copy this one and paste this one into your app dot pi. You can see here app dot pi. I'm just pasting this one here in app dot pi. And after that, let me see the next uh, step. No. So after completing of this one, so first of all, you need to train the model. You can see we don't have. Uh, if you can go back, you can see we don't have these kind of files which are necessary uh, to train the model. Uh, you can see here we need these files uh, labels dot pickle model dot h five text dot and these one two three uh, three files so I'm simply just running uh, this one let me so I'm just running this one so it will I'm sorry uh, I need to run this one my mistake so you need to run training dot uh, pi. So when I run this one, you can see it's working, and we have to wait five. Uh, so it will training. You can see it's it is going to train the model after training uh, up to 200 epochs. You can see it has generated some files, labels, model, and text. So after training the model, now you can open your pi file and run this one. So I'm I'm closing this one. When you run this one file. You can see it is taking uh, time after taking. Uh, so the, now, now the file is running. So just open your browser. Simply go to your browser. Write one two. This command. So the chat will be open. You can write some stuff uh, like hello, how are you? So you can hide there. I can help you. Yes, help me. So it is offering some uh, blurb. I'm just yeah you can see here so how the chat is working so this is the basically uh, the tutorial tutorial how you can run this one if you want to learn how uh, the code is working so I, I already made uh, this video previously if you go there on your YouTube uh, you can just open that one and write here in, in your YouTube you can just write RT fill in Hub. So you can see uh, here my channel. You can just go there 
simply this is the video uh, which will help uh, you about uh, how I make that app previously so this th this was the video I'm gonna mention this link in, in description and also the code link uh, also mentioned uh, in the description so this is uh, the previous video you can uh, see here uh, I'm, I'm, I have already discussed about the code how the code is working so in this tutorial I'm just showing you the uh, code also so this is the code you can uh, get that code uh, by using buff ml.com this is the this is my blog you can sim uh, simply access this blog and uh, you can go to the projects so this is the basically the whole project you can just click on it and uh, this project contain the code uh, uh, about this uh, particular uh, video you can access uh, this code from here so it will help you a lot and how you can build the app so thank you so much for watching uh, this tutorial so far so far